Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video here today and the penultimate race of Season 1 of my Moto GP20 career mode and today we are here for the Malaysian Grand Prix. If you guys missed the last episode then go check it out guys, it will be linked in the top right hand corner of your screen. It was a very, very key race in the championship and you guys can go check it out, the Australian Grand Prix at Phillip Island. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the menu and let's see what the situation is heading into the penultimate race. Right, so in the last couple of races, we of course, you know, we've struggled for form a little bit. The bike has lost a bit of performance, of course, and other teams have been quicker. Just generally speaking, really, it's been more realistic. So we are riding an Aprilia, which is not as fast. And Marquez has overtaken us in the championship. He overtook us about three races ago. And you can see on screen, the gap is now 31 points with two races to go and a possible 50 points up for grabs. Marcus could win the championship today. We need to outscore him by eight points to take the championship to the next race. So it's going to be complicated, but we're going to try our best. We need Marquez to hopefully not finish on the podium, preferably, and we need to win the race. It's as simple as that. So this could see a new champion crown here today, and Marquez could win yet another world championship. So let's jump into the weekend, and we're going to get underway. We're going to jump into practice first of all, and then see how the bike feels. Hopefully we get some good performance out of it, and uh, then we'll jump into qualifying. Fingers crossed, straight into Q2. But let's jump into it, and let's get the weekend underway. It feels good to have the pace for the first time in a while. Normally we jump into qualifying, but... The, the practice pace is there. We're currently on target to hit the track affinity program. Pace is really, really good. Makes such a difference. I'm really, really happy for once. I can always count Malaysia to be a good track for us across the line. And there we go. Perfect. Well then, I can confirm that was probably the best practice session we've had ever since, like, race five or race six around Magello. Like before the patches basically uh, really started to take effect and change the performance. So in terms of development tests, we did all of them really, really good. We done all the programs. We uh, got a medium score on the race simulation, but we've got a pretty good one all round to be fair, medium score on the quick lap and maximum score on the distance analysis. So it feels good for once to have a good race weekend and a good practice to kind of start things off. So uh, hopefully we can carry that into qualifying. But we're going to be P1 in practice. And if I had to put money on it, I think we should go straight into Q2. So let's jump into qualifying. There we go then. It is official. We go straight into Q2. And not just into Q2. We was fastest of the whole weekend. So uh, 59.3. That's my best lap. That's what I've got aim for because that was the maximum I could do anyway. So that's kind of where the bike is and max performance. So we'll see if we can match that in qualifying. But it's encouraging signs going into qualifying. Pretty good first lap. Just got to make sure we try and stay on the bike and don't crash at the final corner. To be fair, in this track, it kind of suits my style. I've not had many crashes this weekend. I've only had like two, I think. So it's been pretty good all round as uh, we've had Maverick to contend with all lap long here. We're going to get a nice toe, which is going to give us a good head start onto our second lap. As we cross the line, we set a 15 on five and go P2. So it's a good opening lap there. I only two tenths off, of course, my overall best time in practice. So that's encouraging. Let's see what we can do on lap number two and let's see if we can improve upon that. Whatever the fastest lap is, we're going to absolutely smash it. If I can nail the final corner, that would help as well. 
running a bit hot, but we're going to get it slowed down just about. There we go. Down to the apex. Keep it in second gear. Try to get the power down if we can. Let's see what this lap is as we run it up to the line. Here we go. What lap is it? It's a 58.7. It's a massive, massive lap. And that is exactly what I'm talking about as we run out of fuel now. And uh, that is a brilliant lap. Oh, my God. That felt good. That was by far my best lap of the weekend. And it felt perfect as well. Very good lap. We'll struggle to beat that on another run on a fresh set of tyres, but that could be the benchmark right there, and that felt good. What a lap. Yes. At the moment, six and a half minutes to go, and we've got six tenths in our pocket, and Marquez is currently P2, so it's looking bloody good for us in terms of the way the things are shaking out in this session. Really good lap. Marquez has done the lap that I did in practice, so it goes to show how much time we found, and I think I've really nailed sector three and four, especially those two were absolutely spot on. We'll try and go out again. I'm not 100% confident we can improve. That was the perfect lap so far this weekend. So if we beat anything off of that time, I think I'd be very, very impressed with myself. So uh, let's go again and let's see what we can do. Little mistake there, a little bit scruffy. Just went in a bit too shallow at the minute. It's not an improvement on this lap. Into the final corner. We're three tenths down at the minute on my previous and we actually go down. That's pretty much going to put an end to it, so uh, yeah. Let's hope that 158.7 is enough. We're going to peel off into the pit lane, of course, as Jack Miller crashes just behind us, actually. But yeah, we're going to peel off. That's going to be it for our session. Hopefully, that lap is enough. And it is enough. There we go. Pole position at Malaysia. Our first one in quite some time. I want to say since Mazzano, but I can't actually remember if we got pole there, to be fair. It's been a really long time. The bad news is Marquez is P2 on the front row, so that's going to make things quite complicated. But it looks like we do have to pace, which is good. So all we've got to do now is transfer that over to the race, and hopefully we can try and at least pick up the win, and then we'll see where Marquez finishes. But unfortunately, it is out of our hands. So uh, let's see what happens. It's time for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Let's get into the race. There he is. There is Mark Marquez, the man who could potentially win another world riders championship here today at sepang and we're going to see if we can try and stop him there is kyle crutchlow i'll be needing him to help me out as well i need all the help i can get and hopefully a couple of riders fancy their chances and they can try and get past mark marquez maybe on the first couple of laps meanwhile though we're going to start from p1 there is tito rabat on the avintia starting from p20 we're going to make sure the bike is beautifully set up so uh, we're going to run i think medium medium here today i'm going to take a gamble with that that could be the better option for us I think um, the, the, the Malaysian track is a bit tougher on tyres, so we want to kind of give it plenty of respect. I was thinking medium hard, but I want to have uh, an aggressive rear tyre, you know, just to still kind of keep some pace. But there's the setup. We're now ready for the race. Let's see if we can stop Marquez from winning another championship. Right then, here we go. Five lights are on at Malaysia, and it's lights out, and away we go for the penultimate race of the season. It's a good start from us. We get away reasonably well. Marquez behind, still in P2. No idea where to break into turn one. I'm kind of going to guess. Get down to the apex really early if I can to avoid riders going on the inside. And there we go. That's exactly what we want. We survive turn two as well. Beautiful. Power down. Out of there now. Through turn three. Marquez is not actually P2 anymore. I can't quite see, but I think it's Crutchlow in second place. So there we go. That's the best case scenario for us. As we hold on to the lead. And Marquez has dropped down the field a bit, so uh, we'll see where he is. There's Marquez, P15, but I'm guessing that's Alex Marquez as John Mir goes down into T4. Right, we're just going to get ahead down. We've got a nice gap already to the leaders, or should I say the, you know, the, the, the pack behind me. There's Marquez battling Zarco. I think that's Alex Marquez, though. Either way, it's been a fantastic start. We're now going to get ahead down, and we'll see where Marquez is when we cross the start-finish line. Uh, we'll get an update as to what his position is. So let's focus on trying to switch these tyres on. Pick up the pace and uh, try and dominate this race here today. Right then, let's see. End of lap one. Good opening lap from us. We've got an absolutely massive gap behind. Let's see where Marquez is. As the names filter through, Marquez down to P6. Right, okay, that's good news for us. That would allow us to take the title fight to the next race at Valencia. Ideally, I'd like Marquez to drop even further down and uh, ideally score no points. Even then, it'd be tricky for us to win the championship. But the less points Marquez scores, the better. But at the minute... It means Marquez won't win the title. Pace is really strong. Bike is working beautifully. I think unless we crash, we've got the, the race win wrapped up already. We're in the two minute fours, which is really good pace for race pace. So uh, I'm happy with this. I'm not really pushing that much either, to be fair. I could go a lot quicker, but I'm kind of cruising a minute. Marquez still P6. 
as we cross the line. We'll get an update on that in a couple laps time. Well, a pretty good lap from us once again as we come across the start and finish, a two minute point two. Just to clarify and uh, make it really clear, Marquez can finish on the podium if he gets P3. That wouldn't be enough for the title if we win the race, but I mean, it would give us pretty much no chances heading into the finale. Ideally, I'd like Marquez at least off the rostrum to give us a chance. So uh, let's see how that pans out. The pace is really good at the minute. I could probably run the 159s if I needed to, but I really haven't got the, the urge to push that much. I'm keeping it on the on the tarmac. We've got great pace around it. Feels good to be powerful and have that rhythm again for the first time since Mazzano, actually, I think. So let's keep it going. We're doing well at the minute. Oh, Marquez up to P5. He gets past Alex Rins. That's bad news. Rins gets him back, though. We'll keep an update on that. Another faster than from us as we keep the pace up. We'll keep an eye on that gap and see the positions. Marquez again getting by it as he's now kind of running P5 in this race. Come on, guys. Hold on if you can. Pace is still consistent. I'm doing faster laps every single lap as the fuel burns off and the bike gets lighter. We're going faster and faster. We make a bit of a mess of turn one there. Marquez is currently P5. That's where he is. He's not moved since. And that's Alex Marquez, just to confirm. Oh, Petrucci gets past Marquez for P5. Petrucci's making a recovery. Of course, he had to go through Q1 yesterday, so uh, he's showing some pace. And Marquez now back down to P6. That's good news for us. Petrucci now up to P4. He's got past Dovi. He's making good progress. Meanwhile, we're still pushing on him. That is the first lap of this race where I've not actually set a new fastest lap. So that's how good my pace and my consistency has been here today. Two laps to go. Let's bring it home. There we go. Into the 159s. I've been chasing that lap all race long. We've got there in the end. Last lap. Dovi now to P4. He's overtaking Petrox again. Let's just now bring this one home. I think we've done it. I think the job is done. Marquez won't get a second place, which is what he needs today. So we can relax and the title fight should go on to Valencia. Right then, here we are on the back straight as uh, Alex Marquez battles with Fabio Quattararo. We've absolutely dominated today. We've dominated the whole weekend. And we go through the front corner and we pick up a well-deserved race win. A massive 25 points for the championship. And we don't run out of fuel either. Across the line and there we go. Job done. We'll take that. The question is, where did Mark Marquez finish? And in the end, it's P6. So the title fight does go on to the next race in Valencia. In the end, Crutchlow did pick up the fastest lap. Seems like the AI set their glitch lap times once the race was over. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty much a good day at the office. Crutchlow second, Miller third. So uh, a very unique podium. No actual factory machines on the podium. As Dovi and Petrucci miss out along with Marquez. We've got Vinales, the highest placed Yamaha, only in eighth place with uh, Quattrado 10th, Rossi 11th. And uh, running out of points, Brad Binder scoring a point for KTM. But in terms of the Riders Championship, Heading into the final race, I was really hoping Marquez would maybe lose one more place to like P7 or P8. In the end though, in the final race, the gap will be 16 points to Marquez's favour. And we need to win again in Valencia and hope Marquez has yet another poor display. So it's going to be complicated, but we'll give it a try. As Crutchlow overtakes Dobby there for P3. Then we have the team championship and we are in fifth place. 16 points behind Patronus. That could maybe happen, but I, I kind of doubt it with one bike. It's going to be quite tricky to turn that over. And Repsol Honda looking good to win the championship here. And finally the constructors. And uh, looks like second place could be ours to be fair. That result today might have just saved us. And we may secure a second place for Aprilia in the constructors. But guys, that is going to be it from me here today at Sepang for the Malaysian Grand Prix. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also subscribe if you are new guys to the channel for more MotoGP content and F1 content. And also click the bell icon to be, to be notified when that new video does go live. But guys, that is it from me here today. Check out two videos on your screen if you have missed them. And I'll see you all next time for the finale in Valencia. But until then, it's goodbye from me.